guys. I feel better now. Now that I'm sorta... I'm sorta full. So, Carla is a ghoul. I see. A ghoul? Isn't that just another word for zombie? Uh, I don't want to be a zombie. I knew it. It's just like what the doctor said. No, you're wrong. Ghouls and zombies are not the same thing. They're not? So what exactly are they? I knew it. You guys are having a party without me. Thanks for leaving me out, guys. No, this is not a party. I would never be caught dead in one of those. Nagisa, long story short, Kylo almost killed me. But, but it's not his fault. He was a hungry ghoul. What? Oh, right. You asked what a ghoul was. Yeah, I need to know what I've become. <laughs> so ghouls are pretty much cannibals. Ugh, gross. They're only able to feed off of humans or other ghouls. Normal food messes up their stomachs or something. And if anything other than flesh touches their tongue, they get this strong urge to vomit. Look, here's a demonstration. Damien? No! <coughs> okay, I guess that proves it. But wait, you said he can only eat humans or other ghouls. Then what about when he was eating Chunky earlier? Chunky's a zombie. They used to be humans, so I guess that works as well. Um, okay. So how often does Carla have to eat? Does he have to eat as often as we do? Guys, I don't think I can bear eating flesh. I don't even want to think about it. Is there something else I could do? Maybe, I don't know, be a vegetarian ghoul? A vegetarian ghoul? That makes no sense, you idiot. No, there's nothing else you could do. But you still have to tell us when you're hungry. Oh, and you have to tell us right away. You seem to lose all sense of judgment when you're hungry. Uh, sorry again, Oliver. I didn't mean to attack you like that. I just... I just lost control. Well, it looks like it's time for class. Come on, guys. I don't want to go. I feel sick. Just... I don't want to go. Oh, not this again. Come on, Carlo. It'll be fine. Good morning, class. It seems Carlo has an announcement to make. You ready? Yes, Nora Sensei. I guess I'm ready. Hi, everyone. I have something I need to share with you all. I already told Headmaster Herobrine about what happened to me recently. It seems I'm... Uh, I'm a ghoul. So from this day on, the school gave me the title of... The Ultimate Ghoul. I don't really know how it happened, but yeah. I guess that's just who I am now. I'm sorry if it scares you. I see, I see. So, what are you doing about food then? Oh, uh, that. <laughs> uh, I don't really know yet. I got it, Nora Sensei. He'll be able to eat the zombies I summon. Oh, yes. The ultimate ghoul and the ultimate necromancer make the perfect match. You two really are twin brothers. Ugh, whatever. Anyway. Thanks for listening to me, and don't worry, I don't plan on eating any of you or anyone in school. I've been told I'd be kicked out if something like that happened. Okay class, you heard him. Just treat him the same way you've always been. And I guess that's it. Carry on. Hey, Car Carlo, I, I think I have something that could help you. Oh? What do you mean? Like, you're keeping dead bodies cause, cause I'm a disgusting ghoul now? What? No, n nothing like that. C can you meet me in the school garden after class? The school garden? 
The school has one of those? Yeah, it's still kind of new. You can find it on the rooftop. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go after class then. Great. Rose, this place is really pretty. I'm surprised this even exists. Oh yeah, the school gave me this little garden to help me work on my plants and flowers and stuff. Oh, that's really cool of them. A anyway, I know you're a ghoul now, and you eat flesh, right? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. And you're not gonna try and eat me right now, right? Uh, no, of course not. I could never imagine eating any of my classmates. Okay, that's good. I want to show you something. Follow me. <sighs> okay. This is a plant I've been working on for a while now. Could you try its fruit for me? Uh, are you sure about this? I don't want to sound disgusting or anything, but if I eat anything other than, y you know... Flesh. I'm gonna vomit right away. I don't want to accidentally vomit all over you, you know? I know, but I think this will be fine. Here, try it. Okay. As long as you know what you're getting into. Here it goes. So, what do you think? Uh, what is this exactly? It's, uh, have you ever heard of a corpse flower? A corpse flower? Yeah. I grew one and genetically modified it to grow this little plant. I call it a rotten flesh plant. The perfect name, I guess. It kind of stinks, though. Really bad. But it's kind of weird. The fruit tastes just like flesh. Well... Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about the smell. So, do you want one for, you know, for your room? Oh, really? You can give me one? Yeah, I thought maybe you would want one in your room to, you know, satisfy your cravings. I guess that could come in handy. It's still strange, though, that this fruit isn't doing anything weird to my stomach. Is this actually real flesh? Uh, uh, I don't really know myself. It comes from a plant, but the fruit structure is the same thing as that of flesh. So maybe it's both? That's amazing, Rose. You're a really talented botanist. Th thanks. Yeah, I'll take one for my room. Uh, okay. I'll get one ready right away. Thank you so much, Rose. I owe you one. <laughs> I'm just glad I can help. Rose really is something. It's so cool. She created a rotten flesh plant. It's like this plant was created just for me. What perfect timing. <laughs> Ugh, what stinks in here? Damien! Oh, um, uh, that would be this rotten flesh plant right here. Rotten flesh plant? Where'd you get something like this? Rose grew it for me. Isn't that nice of her? <laughs> Rose? Gave this to you? Yeah. Uh, Damien? Why are you all flustered all of a sudden? I'm not flustered! Shut up! So did Rose come in to give this to you? Uh, yeah. She had to set it up for me after all. Ah! Uh, you had a girl in your room? Mm, it's not what you think. She was just trying to be nice. Plus, I never looked at her that way. Good. I, I mean, it's, it's not like I care anyway. Uh-huh. Well, why are you even here? I like Rose, okay? Uh, uh, okay. That came out of nowhere. Go on. Oh god, did I say that out loud? I mean, I mean, here! 
Chunky should stay here with you. What? Why? Well, because you're a ghoul. If you're ever hungry, just, just eat Chunky over here. You want me to eat your pet? That kind of makes me uncomfortable. Ah, don't worry about that. I told Chunky about this little arrangement. Isn't that right, Chunky? <laughs> I can always bring him back to life after you eat him. Uh, that's really weird, but okay, I guess. Welcome to my room, Chunky. <laughs> hey, get off the bed! You're dirty! Damien, do something! Chunky, off! <laughs> Hey, Damien, I've been meaning to ask you something. What now? How do you think this happened? How am I a ghoul? Oh, and how do you know so much about ghouls? Are you a ghoul too? Are our parents ghouls? No, unfortunately, I'm not a ghoul. I wish, though. Then how, Damien? How? Are you asking me where babies come from? You're old enough to know. Ghouls can have babies with each other, too. Duh. I've also heard about the existence of hybrids. It's extremely rare for a ghoul and a human to have children. Practically impossible. But when it does, a one-eyed ghoul is born. A one-eyed ghoul? People believe their existence is just an urban legend. But lo and behold, here you are, sitting right in front of me. A one-eyed ghoul. Wait. That's not true. I have two eyes. <sighs> you idiot. I meant one of your eyes is what you call a... A kakugan. Uh, I, yeah. Kakugan. Something. Only one of your eyes turns red when you're hungry. So you're saying our parents aren't ghouls? No, of course they're not. That's why I'm still a freaking boring normal human. Then I don't get it. Why? Why all of a sudden I'm... I'm uh, this... this monster. <sighs> Hold on. I'll have to look into it some more. Perhaps... it's infectious? No, that can't be. That's the zombie virus. <gasps> Damien, why me? Why did I have to become this monster? I'm a freak, and I should just die. Damien, can you kill me? Kill me before I end up eating all my friends! <laughs> uh, shut up and be a man for once! We're all monsters here at Hope's Peak. Didn't you realize that already? No one's normal. Look at Koga. He's a damn orc. Or look at, um, Lydia. If she wasn't so damn good with her makeup, I bet she'd look like a gross monster woman too. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, that's so mean. And look at Nagisa. What kind of high schooler becomes one of the most deadliest assassins in the world? A monster, that's who. And look at me. I bring freaking dead things back to life. I'm defying the laws of nature here. I'm a monster too, Carlo. <sighs> You're right. Thanks, Damien. <sighs> Get some rest. We have an exam tomorrow. What? Why didn't anyone tell me about this before? I'm so screwed. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Damien, help me. Be my tutor. Be my senpai. Yeah, senpai. Shut up. Don't call me that. But Damien. <coughs> Chunky, get off of me. Look, even Chunky wants you to stay. <coughs> I hate you both.